planets or infrared wavelengths. And for example, here you see one of the deepest views of the universe, and this is taken with the Hubble Space Telescope. So this is actually not real visible colors what you're seeing here. What you're seeing here is a combination of uh, different infrared colors. So our next generation of space telescope is going to be the James Webb Space Telescope. You're probably a lot of you guys have heard about the James Webb Space Telescope. That's the five meter. It's going to be uh, it's going to be great. But that telescope is actually actually purely infrared because that's the way how you can look farthest in time. So this is uh, one of the deepest views of the universe, I already said. This is the Hubble alternate field. And if you actually would zoom in with a better resolution, you would see that every little tiny blob here is actually kind of a pretty galaxy. And interestingly, almost everything you see here is a galaxy. It's not a star. They're galaxies. Like here you see a star. I think there's only two stars in this field. All these things are galaxies. All these tiny blobs. And all these galaxies will have will be at a different point in time. So you're seeing different points in time in only one photo. Some of these galaxies may be as, as, maybe as far away as the, that the light traveled like 13 billion years. Other ones may only, the light only travel 2 billion years. But we see galaxies at all different points in time. And then using that redshift, what I told you before, we can figure out at which distance they actually are, how long the light actually traveled to us. Okay, so what we're really interested in is uh, how do galaxies actually look like when the universe was much younger? Because by looking at galaxies when the universe was much younger, we can try to figure out how galaxies were actually formed, how these spiral galaxies were formed, how these elliptical galaxies were formed. That's what we want to know. Okay, so I'm maybe now going to focus on the universe when it was about 3 billion years old. That's one of my favorite times. And here you see how elliptical galaxies look like. Well, the first thing you see, the quality is not as good, obviously, as these nice images I've shown you before, because it's obviously very far away, so uh, that's why we don't really have the resolution yet uh, to really make really nice images. So it's a little fuzzy. But this gives you an idea if you look at elliptical galaxies when the universe was about 3 billion years old. And you see they're very comparable to elliptical galaxies today. They're kind of Reddish, they're pretty, um, like how you call it, they're pretty smooth, there's not a lot of substructure. But, as the title of my talk said, these galaxies are actually not, they're, they're actually not very comparable to elliptical galaxies today. They're actually very different in the fact that they're much more compact, they're much denser systems. So, how dense are they? Well, if you, for example, compare them to the Milky Way, for the same number of stars, the Milky Way would be this big, and all these stars of the Milky Way would have been put into only this tiny little part. So they're very, very, very dense systems. All the stars are much more together than they are in the Milky Way.